Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've just joined this channel, my name is Chrissy Chella and this is episode two of Summer Cuts. That was an introduction. Today is all about meal prepping. Now in episode one, I got a lot of comments of you guys asking me what exactly is a cut and what does it entail and what kind of foods do you eat? For every single video that I do on YouTube, I'm gonna let you know now, I will never be including macros or grams. This is because I know that some people will go and try my macros and grams that are specific to my body and I would hate for anyone to get ill or for it to not work for them and get really disheartened with themselves. So I will definitely be showing you recipes and kind of an idea of what I eat, but I will not tell you the grams and the macros. You need to understand that the reason I do sell personalized meal plans is because I ask a series of questions before I create these plans, such as your body stats, your body goals, your occupation, how often you work out and more. This video is all about meal prep. So how can you start a summer cut without meal prepping? So one thing you need to know is you will not see results if your nutrition is not on point. With that being said, I'm not saying 100% all the time depriving yourself. It's all about small little indulgence and small little cheats to make you feel like you're human again and to make you feel like, okay, I'm not depriving and restricting myself completely. I have cheats, of course I do. I like pizza, I like donuts, I like Nutella, <laughs> I like anything you can imagine that's not great for you. Crazy sweet tooth. If I see desserts, I will want to bite and I will probably finish the cake. But anyway, that's that's a story for another day. So when it comes to meal prepping, one thing you need to remember is you need to stay consistent with your meal prep and you need to be organized. Now the reason so many of us do opt for junk food instead of healthy food is because, I hate to say it, but junk food is convenient. It's ready made, it's there, you grab it, it's fast and quick. Healthy food, you do need more time to prepare, to peel, to chop, and to cook your meals. However, if all the work was done beforehand, it would be so much easier and quicker for you to pick up something healthy that you've already prepped, as opposed to going for something unhealthy. So that's the whole point behind meal prep. If you're meal prepping, it will save you so much money Trust me when I say this, I used to be guilty of buying food out, of going to university, picking up meals, coffees, drinks, whatever I could find to just fill me up. And by the time I knew it, I was spending about 10 to 14 pounds on just food that did not fill me up, was not nutritional at all, and it was making me feel like crap. So now that I meal prep and I invest my time focusing on what I put into my body, I, n I don't spend nowhere near as much money as I used to spend on food. My God, rest in peace, bank account, because... So the purpose behind this video is just to help you out, give you a helping hand, and make you understand how simple and easy meal prepping can be. Okay guys, to kickstart this meal prep tips, the first one I'm gonna give you is to find yourself really good Tupperware. Just invest a little bit of money on Tupperware that avoids any leakages in your bag so you can just clip your food in and take it with you wherever you need to go. As you can see here, I use clippy ones. I bought these from Marks and Spencers. I think they were about £5. The next tip is probably going to save you so much time and you're going to thank me later. Right, so these are frozen smoothie bags and I've been doing these for four years straight. What I want you to do is just buy some of those zippy freezer bags that you can get or little clippy ones. And I like to make my favorite smoothie in the morning, which is a banana, some oats, some spinach, and some frozen or fresh berries is completely up to you. 
And what I like to do is just whack this in the freezer, I make about five, and then in the morning I blend with some coconut milk and two scoops of vegan or normal whey protein, and you are set to go. Tip number three is to make things in batches. I make things in batches about twice a week to still keep the produce really nice and fresh. I like to do this with rice, couscous, any pasta, stuffing or mixture that I like to use for my meals. So here I'm just cooking some rice with olive oil, one or two vegetable stocks for flavoring, and I simply cook it, I whack it in some Tupperware, and it's ready for me to use for any meals that I've planned for that week. Like I said, I make this about two times a week to keep the food fresh. Similar to the smoothie bags, these are my snack bags. Now, I absolutely love using those zippy bags. You will probably get to know that I use them a lot. And what I like to do is simply just mix some snacks together so I have one on the go and I actually keep one or two in my bag so I save money to not buy um, any unnecessary junk when I'm out and I'm hungry and also it prevents me from snacking on anything bad when I am out and about. So here I'm just adding some mango, some almonds and some dark chocolate because we need a bit of chocolate in our life, you know? <laughs> The best tip I can give you is to honestly chop, peel and prep everything right at the beginning of the week. This will save you so much time and it's so frustrating just sitting there and peeling and chopping food. It actually takes longer to chop and peel than to cook. So what I like to do is just clean any vegetables, take all the stems, the leaves, the skin and have it ready in my little zippy bags <laughs> and then to prevent it from growing brown, all you have to simply do is add a little bit of fresh lemon juice to avoid it going brown and stale, and that is you good to go. So that's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful, and I really hope that you use these tips and utilize this video to benefit you and your fitness journey. If you have any questions or if you want to see anything else, just comment down below as per usual, and I always try and get to as many people as possible. Um, make sure you are following me on Instagram, and make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you always and forever. Bye. <laughs>